Hi and welcome back. So are you a night owl or are you an early bird? This latest study out of the University of Exeter shown that if you are a particular type, you're more likely to suffer from depression or general low well-being. It also answered the question, if you're a night owl, can you become an early bird and vice versa? Enough waffling of me, let's jump into the presentation and see what this latest study out of the University of Exeter in the UK has got to offer. This is a review of a study that was conducted by the University of Exeter in the UK, which looked into people whose lifestyle is in conflict with what would be considered a normal circadian rhythm and its subsequent effects on depression and their general well-being. And there are links in the description below to the study and the articles I used to put this presentation together. People whose sleep patterns go against their natural body clock are more likely to have depression and lower levels of well-being according to this new large-scale study. Research led by the University of Exeter, which was published in the journal Molecular Psychiatry, also found the most robust evidence to date that being genetically programmed to be an early riser is protective against major depression and improves overall well-being. The researchers suggest this may be because society is set up to be more aligned with early risers through the standard 9 to 5 working day. The team built on previous research which mapped 351 genes linked to being an early riser or to being a night owl. They used a statistical process called Mendelian randomization to examine whether these genes were causally associated with several mental health and well-being outcomes, including major depression. The study used data on more than 450,000 UK adults from UK Biobank's biomedical database and research resource, as well as genetic information. Participants also completed a questionnaire on whether they were a morning person or an evening person. This early research that was published in Nature Communications suggested that being genetically programmed to rise early may lead to greater well-being and a lower risk of schizophrenia and depression. The study was conducted in 250,000 US-based research participants from 23andMe, a company that provides genomic analysis and 450,000 people from the UK Biobank study. All participants were asked if they were a morning person or an evening person, and their genomes were analyzed to look at which genes they had in common and which may influence their sleep patterns. Professor Mike Whedon of the University of Exeter's Medical School, who led the research for the first study said, this study highlights a large number of genes which can be studied in more detail to work out how different people can have different body clocks. The large number of people in our study means we have provided the strongest evidence to date that night owls are at higher risk of mental health problems, such as schizophrenia and lower mental well-being, although further studies are needed to fully understand this link. Lead author of the first study, Dr. Samuel E. Jones of the University of Exeter's Medical School said, the discovery of this fundamental body clock mechanism in the brain recently won the Nobel Prize for Medicine. However, we still know very little about whether or not your body clock influences your risk of disease. Our work indicates that part of the reason why some people are up with a lark while others are night owls is because of the differences in both the way our brains react to external light signals and the normal functioning of our internal clocks. These small differences may have potentially significant effects on the ability of our body clocks to keep time effectively, potentially altering risk of both disease and mental health disorders. In the new study, the team also developed and named the new measure of social jet lag. This means the variation in sleep patterns between work days and free days. Social jet lag can be explained as an early bird who sleeps by 10 p.m. and is in work by 8 a.m. during the week, 
but at the weekends stays up past midnight and hits the snooze button until 9 a.m. the next morning. They measured this in more than 85,000 UK biobank participants for whom sleep data was available via their wrist-worn activity monitors. They found that people who were misaligned from their natural body clock were more likely to report depression and anxiety and have lower overall well-being. Lead author of the second study, Jessica O'Loughlin of the University of Exeter said, we found that people who were misaligned from their natural body clocks were more likely to report depression, anxiety and have lower well-being. We also found the most robust evidence yet that being a morning person is protective of depression and improves well-being. We think this could be explained by the fact that the demands of society mean night owls are more likely to defy their natural body clocks by having to wake up early for work. Overall, the research team found that morning people were more likely to be aligned with their natural body clock. They then tested the effect by looking at shift workers and found that morningness, as they call it, may not offer protection for depression in shift workers, meaning morning people who work shifts may not have improved mental health and well-being. However, this was inconclusive. Senior author Dr. Jessica Tyrell of the University of Exeter said the COVID-19 pandemic has introduced a new flexibility into working patterns for many people. Our research indicates that aligning working schedules to an individual's natural body clock may improve mental health and well-being in night owls. Extreme morningness or eveningness is genetically predetermined, making it incredibly difficult for a night owl to convert to being an early bird and vice versa. While there are a number of genes at play when it comes to determining the way your biological clock is wound, the period 3 gene in particular dictates up to 52% of a person's morning or evening preference. You can fight it all you want, but ultimately your body's rhythm is already decided for you. That said, according to Dr. Adrian Williams, a professor of sleep medicine at King's College in London, said even though genetics determine the bulk of our sleep patterns, there are still ways we can make changes to our circadian rhythm. There is a clear environmental effect. So yes, we can manipulate our rhythm. Dr. Williams notes that generally urban living promotes eveningness because of the evening light exposure, while rural living does the opposite with more exposure to natural light during the day. But you don't necessarily have to uproot your life and move to the country for better sleep habits. For night owls who want to increase control over their rhythm, they can start by limiting light exposure, especially blue light at night. Also, people gradually become more of a morning person as they age. The hormonal changes throughout your lifespan bring you to peak eveningness in late adolescence, while morningness increases with age. Well, I hope you found that interesting or informative, hopefully both. So it seems as though, irrespective of what type of person you are, night owl or early bird, working shift work is going to have a detrimental effect on your health. Uh, it would be churlish to say just change professions because that's a lot easier said than done. But reducing light at night, adjusting your bedtime and sleep time and wake time may be an option if you want to lower the risk of depression and schizophrenia. And as one of the professors said, if you have the ability of flexi time, maybe change your working hours to the time you prefer to be awake, which is if you're a night owl, will be later in the day. Well, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed the study. I'd like to know what you think about the particular study, whether you're an early bird or or a night owl. Uh, I look forward to seeing you in the next video. As always, please take care, stay safe, and I will see you soon. Bye for now.